I'm your life guide's coach, Mr. E. The other day I came up with a small tweak that would help the taste of my potato salad. Here's how you turn an ordinary slice of bread into a cracker. Hey, here's a good way to advertise. Look at what I did. I just came up on something I gotta tell you and you gotta try it. You take two corn tortillas, don't cook them. Wrap the wiener with the corn tortilla, like what you might call a wiener wrap. Oh, no. If you want to stop a sneeze, all you have to do is press on both nostrils in till they touch and then wiggle them around and around and around. Did you know that you can uh, make your own bread by reconstituting breadcrumbs? He can turn breadcrumbs into bread? He's like a stale Jesus. <laughs> That wise weirdo is Mr. E, and he's made hundreds of life hack videos featuring knowledge he's acquired during what I assume was a lifetime of struggles. <laughs> Sharing his life hacks might be the only thing keeping him from hacking people to death. He instructs his zero subscribers on topics such as how to cure a stomach ache with potato chips or fall asleep when your throat feels itchy. <laughs> Imagine the confidence you need to live in an RV full of cats and still think there is anything you can teach other people. Life hack is the millennial term for laziness. If you want to watch a 12-minute video on how to shave five minutes off your morning, be my guest. <laughs> the most effective life hack is money. The fastest, sadly, is suicide. <laughs> Mysteries, how-tos aren't perfect or helpful. But in a depressing world of obnoxious teen YouTubers, he's a breath of musty RV air. Which is why I came out of the closet and sold a new show to Netflix for this week's Celebrity Profile. I'm on my way to a Texas trailer park to meet a 63-year-old substitute teacher named Mr. E. I've got work to do. Thanks! And that's how you turn crunchy peanut butter into smooth peanut butter. Yes, King! Mr. E, it's Mr. T! Not that Mr. T, but I have been known to pity a fool. What are you doing here? Your substitute students nominated you for my makeover show, Danny's Brown Eye for the Crazy Guy. You've helped so many people, but you never make time for yourself. And before I can fix the outside, we need to work on the inside. I'm gonna teach you a quick family recipe that will leave your dinner guests speechless. Good. It's a jelly bean burrito. <laughs> Mr. E, how did you come up with that? There was no imagination to it. It was just like the first uh, letter of my last name, Mr. E. But you didn't think of the same mystery? Yes, in fact, I thought of that later, was that uh, could I play with that idea somehow? Never did really play with it, but yeah, mystery, yes. How long have you lived in an RV? Uh, actually, just five years. Okay, a temporary. Yeah, uh, yes. When you're a substitute teacher, do you try to actually teach that day, or do you just try to get through the class without anything horrible happening? Um... No comment? Okay. Ever get the leg cramps while you're in bed? Oh, you try to massage them out, they're so painful. How often are you cramping in bed? And is it because you're sleeping inside an RV? No, I don't think it's be because I'm in an RV, okay. but maybe okay. it would be because it seems like things dry a lot faster inside the RV. Do your videos come from a place of trying to save money? It's just a matter of running into it, like something that was that I needed at that point in time, like turning breadcrumbs back into a bread. All you need is breadcrumbs, one egg, and a mold. Most people probably don't have any need for that, but I felt like I needed it. Or even looking into that disease that you get from bread. Uh, the gluten? Is that gluten, yeah. You can get gluten-free breadcrumbs uh -huh. and make biscuits out of them instead of having to buy the $5 loaf. That's where that disease gets you. Yeah. And it's just an expensive person disease. Yeah. A lot of your videos are about food. How many of you like to eat cake but find it hard to make one? Have you ever considered making a cookbook? Uh, maybe slightly. Um, I just, I know taste. I can actually go to a candy machine 
and I can taste every candy and every chip that there is in there just in my mind. Okay, I'm gonna, let's just test you right now. I'm gonna say a candy, and you tell me if you can taste it. Junior Mints. Uh, yes. Sour Patch Kids. I think I can taste it. Okay. A Three Musketeer. Yes. Okay. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yes. That one was fast. Yes, because I love them. Okay, 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 okay. All right, this will be a hard one. Dark Chocolate. 78% cacao. You know, I, I'm probably unable to distinguish between lighter chocolate versus darker chocolate, uh -huh. but yet I like dark chocolate and I do eat it. Okay. In fact, just as I said that. I it hit you? It hit me, all I think right. I did so, find so you, it. Basically, you can do them all. <laughs> you say in a lot of your videos that you don't like the taste of potato salad. Hey, if you're like me, you don't like potato salad. Yet, you're always buying potato salad. I keep it around as a snack. I don't have this appreciation for potato salad. Then don't buy it. <laughs> it works <laughs> good as a, a munching uh, food. Oh, like a little yeah, side. A snack. Yeah, then that's mostly the way I use it. Well, sure. And, and your trick to kick it up a notch is to put pickle juice in it. Right. Do you know how I kick up my pickles? How do you do that? I put potato salad in them. <laughs> I watched the fruit smoothie video. First question, when's the last time you cleaned your strainer? She looked a little gunked up. Next thing, have you calculated the number of calories in that monster? No. But you're using a whole bottle of creamer. That's 35 serving, that's 2,300 calories. I'd probably uh, say if you're health conscious, don't do this. You should be morbidly obese. I don't drink it very often. In fact, fruit I stay away from because it, I have diabetes and it seems to bring up my sugar all the time. You think the fruit's bringing up your sugar? What's the deal with you filming dead animals on your channel? Was that just a coincidence that you happened upon them? Yeah, I thought about whether a dead animal would be appreciated by the viewers. You being in a ranch, you're gonna see stuff like that. Yes. So I got them a taste of what ranch life was like. That's not my cup of tea. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm still not sure I can relate to you, but let's hug and cry anyway. No makeover is complete without removing your glasses. Say goodbye to the sad grandpa vibe. Now, your eyes are so beautiful, I think we should just focus on one of them. Hmm? Now you look mysterious and infected. Your hair is your strongest asset. It just needs a little product. Whipped cream works just as good as any pomade, and if it melts, got yourself a little snack. Perfect. The way you dress says a lot about you. That's why I picked this shirt. It sends a clear message. And if you like the way you look, you're gonna love what I do to your car home. Oh, he's still wearing the clothes we got him. Those renovation shows make it look so easy. I was a fool to think this was a one-man job. I blew out the passenger sidewall to bring in some more natural light. We put in for the permits, but it's gonna take at least six to 18 more months. That's a great breakfast salad. It's probably best we just leave those cameras in there so the government can check in on them. In case you were wondering, here's the recipe for breakfast salad, croutons and ranch. He changed me just as much as I didn't change him.